Are you check one three? When you pass, you look like Voice of Pepper Art. Artist goes by the name of Pepper Art. And feel like a cushion. Pepper Art, we need some attention. When we pass, we cause an illusion. Drop it like a bomb and cause an explosion. Tackle us here like I'm in a confusion. Me know you would love it if me show you my motion. Ah, do you check one three? Pepper Art, are you there? Yes, I'm here, live and direct. Live and direct and waiting. <laughs> Let me just I say, there, there was a little bit of delay because I was here trying to um, get the tracks them in the right format. And every time oh. I move them to the playlist, it's showing up as something else. So I got to keep going back from one laptop to the next, to the next. But anyway, we are here right now on SFDC Radio. It's a fantastic Silver Fox and... We're speaking to Pepper Art. So, we're going to go straight into the interview by asking for some background information. So, please, can you give the listeners a, some brief information as to how your musical journey started? Okay. Um, first, I must introduce myself. Um, Winsome Edwards by birth. A.K.A. Pepper Art, Pepper Caliente, some people say. I was born in Jamaica, in the parish of St. Thomas, in the district of York. I started my musical journey in the church, where I used to sing on a band called Pace Band, with Worm and Plucko and, to name a lot, Bushman, lot of them, you know, um... I was doing the music before I migrated to England. I migrated to England in 2002. I never done it since I came. I've been here for like 13 years and I only started doing it again in 2011. So to be honest with you, it's been about three years, four years now since I've been kicking it like this. Okay, so... um. Who is your influence musically and why? Um, Leah the Star is my influence because she's so much like me. Off, off stage, she's a humble little girl, the same thing as I, but on stage we're like an animal when it comes to the music and in the studio, anything to do with music, we take it take it to the limit yeah so she's my biggest influence on music and you know um many female artists generally quote lady saw as one of their influence and it's not just um dance all artists even reggae female artists would use lady saw as a big influence you know? Yeah, because because she's a she's a she's a very good role model. Definitely. Okay, the name Pepper Art. You, you you touched on it briefly. Yeah. Why did you choose the name Pepper Art? What is the origin and meaning of that name? Well, um, this Pepper Hat thing is no coincidence. Um, they used to call me Mother Pepper when I was young, when I was about four, because I was a little. Madam, you know, you know, when I was growing up, you know, four year old going to fast, you know, them one. Yes. So when I started doing the music, it, it was like, it just come back. I used to do this thing called Get a Splash in every district of St. Thomas. So I used to go by the name Sweet Pepper until I met Arnold Richards, who was the owner of the Jungle Lion recording studio back then. And he signed me for like five years, and he changed the name to Hot Pepper. See. <laughs> During that period of time, now that's when I came to England. So after the five years run out, now I just switch it around and say Pepper Hot. So that's how that name come about. So um, where did you grow up? I know you touched briefly in on your first introduction but where was it that you grow up i was grown i was born and grew 
grew up in St. Thomas. That's Saint where I was born. St. Thomas. Yes. And I grew up there as well. And what was it like growing up? Oh, it was beautiful. I am, I am the sixth out of eight kids of my parents. And we, we are one loving family. Um, me and my cousins, everybody we grow, we, 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 we grow as one in our district, even the strangers. We are like one in our Definitely. community. So, so it was it was beautiful growing up as a kid. I right. wish I could go back. See, to be that kid. we all we all wish that. So, what really motivated you to to do music? Well, I was born to do music because, like I said, I used to do it. From the church. Church, yes. Like me. Yes. Yeah. So it's something that is in me because it doesn't take me no long time to write a song. You know, are we, we it, it, it can just it just comes straight off out my head like that. So I was born to do it. So to be honest with, with you, music was in my my bone because I was doing it when I was going to school as well. See. So and are there any musicians in your in your family? Well, in my family, yes. on my mother's side, yeah. all my side. uncles and my aunties, they have very good vocals. See. But they didn't take it up professionally the way I do. But several singers are in my family. So professionally... My daughter, she's a very good singer, but she's a shy one, so she don't take it up. So to be honest with you, it's only me who is trying to push my career who as far as I can. Definitely. All right, as you touch on that, we're going to play a popular track, a track that I was just playing, and we're going to play it again because the interview has just started. It's a collaboration, Pepper Art alongside Jackal. Tell us a little bit about that track. Well, to be honest with you, Jackal is from Ghana, and he contacted me on Facebook. And he said, Pepper Hot, because my thing the normal in Africa. See? Yeah? Me, 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 um, several places in Africa right now, people know about Pepper Hot. And I've done several collaborations with Africans, mostly Zimbabwe. Yes. And he contacted me and said to me, Pepper, I really would love you to do a track with me. And he sent me his part. He done it, do it up and send it to me. And then I just listen it, and then I write my part. And I just go in the studio straight away and just did it. And everybody loved that song. And let me just say, it's a massive track. And when Pepper had said her thing, the normal in Africa, in the motherland, I'm, I'm evidence to that because that track came third in the power play at 10. And many of the voters, many of the people them who contacted me said they're trying to vote for that track are people from the motherland, mainly, especially from Zimbabwe. Am I correct? Yes, you are. That's my, my biggest fan base fun in Zimbabwe. Base. So right now, we're going to play that track, Oh, She I Do It. Yes. SFDC Radio UK, locking down the words. Yo, yeah, oh, she I do it, I catch me eye. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she a bubble on a gun, I catch me eye, I saw so me say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Slow down, let me see you just for a minute. Slow me down. Yeah. When you pass, you look like illusion. Me a big girl, everything but diffusion. Your skin soft and feel like a cushion. Pepper hot, but need some attention. When me pass, me cause an illusion. Drop it like a bomb and cause an explosion. Tackle a steel like him in a confusion. Me know you would have loved it if me show you me motion. Well, 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 lady, me say me want you. Lady, bend down low, me be con you. Me not like that, me can never con you. Sit down for the team, come here. Have a new Marano. 
me baby, me send me wire. Give me the chance, make me put this body on yo. you. Use the grip on the muscle controller when me sit down. Why you think it's like a vice grip or grip yo? The most crazy deep them say them a want yo. Wait, wait, they saw me a go spread dollar upon yo. I saw my the fuck man a real girl this, but I go left them and come for yo. I saw me say them must be crazy. Them no see me grip yo. I lie your dollars and me a get it from you. I'm a matter of fact, me know you a girl is, but you forget them when me done with you. Hey. When you pass, you look like illusion. Me a big girl, you everything but diffusion. Your skin soft and feel like a cushion. Pepper hot, but need some attention. When me pass, me cause an illusion. Drop it like a bomb and cause an explosion. Tackle a steel like him in a confusion. Me know you woulda love it if me show you me motion. Oh, you do it if a girl tried as a murder. Me and you pepper. Tracking titles, yeah. oh she a do it. It's like a baby. Pepper art alongside Jack Cole. It's a collaboration. Now it's what Jack said that's a murder. And me and you say we have to come together. We told you it's like the sample of the letter. That's why I'm gonna tell you some things over better. The girl are you alone or run them a road? The girl get everything easy out of road. My miss independent is more than gold. You can't even wait till we know them there. The way me after me run things out of road. The girl can't talk to me out of road. I miss independent, me more than gold. The coolest girl them in none. All right. Pepper at alongside Jack. So, Pepper at. Yeah. You the, yeah, um. Plans? Do you have any personal goals outside of music? Well, to be honest with you, music is my life right now because this is what I wanted to do all the time, and I took time out to do catering because I'm a professional chef, and also by profession I'm an administrator as well. But music is my first love when it comes to you know, doing career business. See. So I chose music. So there's nothing else that I'd rather be doing now as a career than music. Definitely. Okay, so how would you describe your general style of music? Well, I'm I'm not a DJ and I'm not a I'm I'm a singer and a DJ in one. So I call myself a sing J because I can do both. Okay. You know, a lot of people don't know that I can sing, but I am a singer, but I love to DJ, so I always do both together, and when I do my music, I do it in a way that everybody can understand what I say, because right now, most of my fans that I have here, they are white, you know, so obviously they understand what I say, even though I'm talking the Jamaican thing, if you understand what I'm trying to say. But yeah, man. the way I put it across, everybody understands me because it's plain. So my music is something that everybody can li- listen to and it's not boring. Catchy and simple to understand. Catchy and simple to understand, yeah. Okay, so um, on all your tracks, are you the writer for all your tracks? Yes, yeah, all my tracks. Um... There's only one track that uh, tr- one track that somebody gave me to sing. Um, Zabrik, why not my body and bubble Panama? And that that Zabrik's song, he wrote it and asked me to voice it for him. And all I did was like change like a few words, you know, and put in my own words. But everything else, I wrote all of them myself. And the theme, theme and topics. What are the main themes and topics for most of your tracks, them? Most of my tracks are based on natural life of living, you know, things that happen in the world to people, to myself. Most of it is, because I'm a lover, you know, I'm not a fighter. So most of my tracks are very emotional, if you listen to them. A lot of them are emotional songs, and a lot of them are true. It's Because what I write about, I write about things that actually happening in the world you know i write facts seeing so all right the next track we're going to play right now is love was so blind can you introduce that track please yes that track love was so blind um i wrote that track about myself because 
um, I was in a relationship and was too blind to see things happening in, in the relationship. And when I do notice it, it was too late. So I just wrote the track, you know. So that one is off my home experience. And, and I guess this track will have meaning to quite a few people. I also. think so. I think a lot of people can relate to it. All, All right. of my songs, that's what I'm saying. All of my songs, other people can relate to them because they are true. They're actual true stories, things that happen to several people in this world, you know? All right. So the track we're going to be playing right now is Love So Blind. SFDC Radio dot com a much of the world. Much of the world. Much of the world. Much of the world. Me not tell a lie. Was right in front of my eyes. True love was so blind. All the tears you made me cry. With this one bug of lies, it hit my heart. I'm not afraid to say, I never saw it coming. Ooh, I never saw it Track if love so blind, so yeah. pepper hot, the water tone. Hello, man to man, the money passed home from end to end. Oh, when you lie with somebody, you gave them a part of your body. Radio check out to let that one play to the very, very, very end. If love yeah. so blind, yeah, man, beautiful yeah. track. It is. Yes. Um. So your music making process. Could you briefly describe your music making process? Is it that you, you have you listen to a rhythm track, or do you just have the the words in your head, then you find a rhythm for? I've I've Excellent. Got, I've got the lyrics is always in my head because lot 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 of the songs that I do, I wrote them and have them because I've got loads of songs that I haven't voiced yet. Because I'll be traveling on the bus, I never go nowhere without a book and a pen. I'll be traveling on, on the bus and something comes to me and I just jack it down. But some of them, I listen to the rhythm and I write. But most of them I don't. I just write them down. And when I hear the rhythm, I said, this can fit that rhythm and I just do it. You know? The lyrics is always in my head. So, do you do you rehearse? 
unless I'm gonna have gonna do like a show. Okay. But other other than that, I don't I don't rehearse. I just because I can just write a song now and just go in the studio and do it. So, um, in terms of performances, tell us um, some of the places that you have performed here in the UK. Well, um, I've done. I've done shows in London, I've done shows in Manchester, I've done several in Birmingham, to name a few, I've done some with I of Pain, Lady Saw, I've done in Bristol as well, I've done with Lady Saw, I've done with the a and um, I've done Agent Tasco, just to name a few, you know, but I've done several shows here. In the UK, so what I want to do now, I want to spread my wings and fly. So I want to go international now. The last <laughs> international one I did was in 2013. I went to do IR the thing there, and I went back in October and I did Patek birthday bash, you know. So yeah. So when you're doing performances, which are the tracks, the songs do you perform most frequently? Which are your favorite? tracks to perform well to be honest with you when i perform um i'm i'm a person that can freestyle as well so most of the time when i go to perform i don't perform all my tracks you know i would like do a verse of one i would do love was blind i would do um my man cheat for me and i can be a, and i would do Bad girl no frighten say bubble and you know wine and bubble pan a man. Any 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 one of them that it depends on the show that I'm doing. Then I choose the song. You know, because 'cause I've got over a hundred songs. I've got some of my songs haven't been released or nothing. I'm I'm like cartel, I've got over a hundred <laughs> songs. You know? And um as it just mentioned my man a cheat for me. Is that the same as um cheetah? Yes. All right. So that's that's the track we, we're going to be playing right now. So can you introduce <laughs> this track and give you a little info on it? Because earlier on you say a lot of the um the tunes and that you do you, 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 is reality but and you, you write them for a reason. Yes. I wrote that song when I was in Jamaica. I went to do I R a show. It was right in the time when John John was cheating on Lady Saw and Lady Saw was going through that little stress and stuff. Lady Saw is my friend and she's my sister. She's like my sister. Well, she's my sister in other business. You see what I mean? Yes. And I have a lot of respect for her and all of that. So I wrote that song and I decided to voice the song. At the same time, my, my partner was cheating up here when I was down there and I didn't even know that. You know, so that song was fitting. I remember that when I when I done the song and a half since he released the song, he, he refused to do it, and he didn't like to hear the song none at all. But I didn't know that he, he was cheating. Okay. You know, so guilty that song conscience. has a lot of meaning. So I always sing it. It's one of my favorites. All right, so we're going to play that track right now on SFDC Radio. The track yes. card is called Cheater. SFBC, Radio.com, I saw the thing set, I saw the thing set, I saw the thing set. Ooh, yeah, my man are cheap for me, my man are cheap for me, yeah, my man are cheap for me. Oh, my man are give me a bun, my man are cheap for me, he's just running around, my man are cheap for me. This ain't no fun. My man, I cheat on me. See, it won't settle down. See, I gave him my all. I tried my best. But I guess my best wasn't good enough. He might cheat on me. From money, me, I make phone call. I try 
if you reach my man, but I'm not connected at all. In four off, it's like your network next. Me can't send a voice note, that's even a text. In baby down and in WhatsApp stress. The only way to reach him is through GPS. But to wrap it, my phone not equipped. Me only have a little more travel with a flip in my cheap for me. Oh, my mother give me bun. It's my man a cheap for me. He's just running around. My man a cheap for me. Oh, my God. Beautiful track. My man a cheap. Pepper hot. Say it oh, all. I name and my name. See, you gave him my all. I've tried my best. But I guess my best wasn't good enough. It's a cheap for me. Leap a girl from the past, but you not forget the little pretty one we broke him out when him call me. Sometimes I earn name him call. Trust me, them little thing they really flip me off. Me did don't know. Say him a player from the start, but me think him would have change, and that's why me take the chance to write it right now. Me sit down and I stress. Me have a feeling him gone off with him ex. He my cheat for me. Oh my man, oh, give me bun. My man, a cheat for me. He's just running around My man a cheap on me Oh my god, this ain't no fun What a tune Cheap on me See, it won't settle down See, I gave him my all I've tried my best But I guess my best wasn't good I'm telling you, Pepper Art What a tune What a track, well put together, well thought out May I tell you Yes, yeah. yes yeah, man, I love that one. So, I'm going to ask you a question now, and I want you to think about this. Okay. Yeah. All right. Once, uh, check, check. Yes, yes, yes. Let Think about this carefully. What okay. has been your biggest challenge as an artist? Well, my biggest challenge as an artist is to get my music where I want it because I'm an independent artist. I don't I don't I don't have a manage a management team that manages my career. Um I'm lucky that I get Sky. They they manage my promotion and my marketing and they've been doing a very good job. And I thank God that I met them. Big Up Sky Entertainment, you don't know. They are the ones behind me right now. So I don't really face the things that a lot of female artists face because I'm an independent artist. I finance my own thing. I do my own thing. So I don't really have any really deep challenges that, you know, face me that I have to cross them big bridge. The biggest one that I have to cross is the financial part of it, is to get it there, you know, because, you know, it costs money to push it where you want it. And, you know, when I ask, I, I ask Edge Michael, which is the the nephew of Peter Tosh, I, I asked him this question a few days ago, and mm-hmm. the same, it's basically the same answer is getting, getting the ear player, getting the truck yes. out there. Yeah, you know, and and where he's in Jamaica, and he's quoting some big figures where a lot of the big radio station them want just to to push to the tracks the them, you know. So thank God yeah. for for little internet radio station like SFDC Radio and many others, you know, yeah, artists true. can get their tracks out there. Yeah, you know, the next With respect due to SFDC Radio as well. Big up Silver Fox, you don't know. It, 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 it's a great thing that, that SFDC is doing, you know. Enough respect due to them, you see me? Yeah, man. So, um, the ultimate, what is the ultimate direction of your music? Well, my ultimate direction right now, no one forgot the Grammy and the billboard me I shoot for. The Grammy Award, MTV Award, BT Award, BET Award, all them something they may look for. That's why I aim to say, I'm looking to take my thing 
international. I want to take it global. You see what I mean? Definitely. You know, so I was going to, uh, because you've said that, um, is there any awards that you have ever won musically? Well, when I, when I was in Jamaica, um, when I just started out, I did contests and I won them. But I'm not really a competitive artist. I don't like competition. You know, because I won those prizes and then I give them away. Um, it's not about winning for me. It's about getting my music across to the nation. You see what I mean? Definitely. And it, I, I, would, I, I would be more happier to know that my music heals my fan's soul than me being rich off it. I just want to be comfortable and be able to take care of my children and my parents. That's it. All right. I'm going to ask you one more question. Um, I'm going to play you one more track and then we come to the final question. The next um, track that I'm going to be playing is a track, No Worth It. Can you explain that one to the listening public? What's it called? No Worth It. No Worth oh, It. Oh, you know, Worth It. Okay. Yes, well, that one, that one is another one that I wrote in the same period. With, if you notice all of them, they are based basically on the same type of thing. Yes. It's just one behind the other. If I wanted, I could do a whole album. You know something, Pepper? I've really been hurt. I didn't get Emotionally to... and mentally, you know, it, 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 it causes you to come out with all these powerful words. Even though what doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. You understand? So this is how I think and this is how I do my stuff. So that is one of them that come off of the same thing with the love was blind. And you get what I'm saying? All right. So, and you know, something, some of these tracks mm -hmm. I, I did not, because of the confusion and everything, I didn't get to listen to these tracks, you know. I'm just looking at on the name. And the yeah. name, them, the name, them are match up. So, <laughs> I've 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 selected them from from the title of the tracks. You see me? So when you said that, it yes. just kind of link everything together. So right yes, now, like old album. Yes, right now I'm gonna play that track. Pepper art, no worth it. Listen to the tune. Yeah. Mm. Boy, you think could get away? No, I have to tell them them the games with the player. You hurt my boy, I think they get away. No, I have to tell them them the game with the player. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I was thinking an eye for an eye. I was thinking a tooth for a tooth. The things you did to me, I wanted it to you. The way you hurt me, I want to hurt you. Why you bite the hands of feed you? You won't action to my cry you. Cause when you stop and think about it, why are you bitch no worth it? The way that you broke my heart, I wanted to break your heart right back. And the way that you hurt my boy, I wanted to hurt your ass right back. All the time we spent together, I really wish I could have taken that back. You lick a run around, you lick a eager. Why you just end up in that trash? It's been no regret, nothing else, boom. We regret the time to lie the way you. And the girl where you run got to. The kind of girl they can't step in a mess show. I was thinking an eye for an eye. I was thinking a tooth for a tooth. The things you did to me, I wanted it to you. The way you earned them, I want to hurt you. Why you bite the hands of feed you? You won't action turn back by you. Cause when you stop and think about it, why are you bitch no worth it? Hey boy, I'm over you. The find a man we're much better than you. Want to love me and respect me. One will stick on for me like a glue. One will love the gums and where me got. One will not chat like a talking parrot. You left this girl for that girl. This a girl a number one in the world. The find a man to give me a money. All he need is just my honey. The find a man who has to take care of me. And him know I be take my money I was thinking an eye for an eye I was thinking a tooth for a 
true. I think you did to me, I wanted it to you. The way you hurt them, I want to hurt you. Why you bite your hands and feed you? You won't action turn back by you. Cause when you stop and think about it, why are your bitch no worth it? Ah, do you check Pepper Ad say it no worth it? So Pepper Ad does it worth it? No, it doesn't. Cause um, to be honest with you, I pick myself up and I go. Cause when I think about it, he really couldn't help me. He was more looking for help from me. So when I'm a godly person, so I just said to myself, you know, sometimes God weed out some bad weed out of your life to plant some good one in there. And right now, I have a beautiful and loving, expected husband. And I'm glad that one did work with. Seeing so, I saw so, the thing said. <laughs> so the thing said. All right. So, we're going to finish off now by asking you two more questions. And um, I have to ask this one because right now, all over Jamaica, UK, everybody wants to be an artist. Seeing? So... What do you have to say to young people wanting to be an artist? Well, I would say um, some people were born to be an artist. But there are others that can adapt it. You can work your way into being a very good artist. But what you have to do, you need motivation and you have to have this ability to do it. And you have to have this, the most things you need is confident because you can be a very good singer and if you don't have the confidence, you can't perform on a live show. And one other thing I would like to say to them is reach for your goal. You know, whatever you believe in, just go for it, you know, and work hard because hard work pay off in the end. So... Yeah. What about this big and great expectation that every artist has when they embark on this career and to find out that it not set so? What, what, what would you have to say about those artists? Well, they need to wake up. They need to wake up because what they don't understand, you don't expect a manager or a producer or a promoter to do it all. The, the artists have to put in their work as well, you know, not because, some of them because their name calling up, them think they can just relax, but it doesn't end there. You know, you have to, you have to keep pushing. You have to be always on the go, on the go, on the go. You have to be beating it. It's a job. Definitely, a full-time job. job, yes. You understand? So you have to do it like you're going out to a nine-to-five, a nine-to-five, you understand? Definitely. Yes, yeah, so I would say, just go for it, man. Go All right, it. so we're going to seal off now with this by saying, is there anyone you'd like to acknowledge for offering financial or emotional support on your quest, your artist quest? Yes. Well, I would like to big up Sky Entertainment first and foremost. They are the one behind my stuff now, especially Gary, Gary Jones, you know, he, he, he phoned me regular to let me know what's going on with my career and, you know, he give me some good encouragement and stuff. My family, my friends, and my fans, very important in my career, my fans. I want to say big up to the whole of my fans and the whole... I don't worry about people them where I listen to me think I'm a thing that they have it all over the place. Definitely. So I would say big up to everybody and I must say big up to Silver Fox and SFDC as well because again a little more fun when I was in that power play 10 thing and I must say enough respect for that and my partner that I have I must say big up most of all my biggest fans are my kids my kids know every one of my tracks. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So that's where it is right now. So love and respect to all my fans, families, and friends that support me. And enough respect to Sky Entertainment. And big up SSDC. 
and silver fox. All right. So here we're going to go on now. We're going to seal off with the final tune. And I want you to introduce this track here, Addicted to Music. So introduce it for us, please. Well, Addicted to Music is something that comes to me because I find myself doing music even when I'm sleeping sometimes. It's one part I'm asleep. So I said, you know what? I'm addicted to music, you know, because I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't do none of those something. So I said, you know, what is my addiction? It's music. So I just write the song. All right. So we're going to play that track right now, Addicted to Music. Hey, brother. Okay. Could you turn on the radio? Radio. Yes, the radio. Could you put it on SFDC Radio, the baddest radio station in the world?